Oh, never mind. Okay, we're good. What's up, guys? Ankle Spangin' here, and today we are playing as... Who am I? Katarina in the mid lane. I actually had to think about that for a second. But, if you guys uh, do not know, I have not played Katarina in many a month, in a very, very long time is basically what I'm saying. So, we'll see how this game goes. We are playing a ranked 5 game on my, <laughs> on my lower smurf, because my friend wanted to play ranked 5s, uh, with a bunch of us, and I was like, all right, I'll go on a lower account so I don't, you know, bump up the MMR for a new game. Um, so we're just playing with a bunch of our friends. We got Fox Drop right there, and we got Spook Soapy, and we got Riot K K K K K K Chaos, and then we got Lustfulness, one of my friends on this account. So we are going to be laying against actually a relatively difficult lane for Katarina, to my knowledge. Um, if there's a Katarina main in the comments. Who, I'm sure, you know, everyone and their sisters, Katarina mains, that's usually how it goes on YouTube. Because every, everybody mains every champion when it comes to YouTube, I found out. Keep that in mind. So, you know, if you're looking for, if you're looking, yes, I do. But if you're looking for uh, any, any hints, always refer to the comment section. You will find the best ideas. Um, anyways, like I said, we are going to be against a Malzahar. In this lane and this lane's only difficult because he pushes really hard and he also can just lock us down after after he's six I'm kind of surprised he chose to use his visions on me there but that's totally all right so just saying with our Q we are just going to be trying our best to see us uh, for a while I did grab the boots and four health potions because getting anything else is not necessarily the best idea. Let's go ahead and throw a Q off that. There we go. Get the minion and the poke. We'll go ahead and... What the heck? My mark wore off. Fucking rip that minion. But getting uh, a Doran's Ring is suboptimal due to the fact that, um, you know, you, you you can't really use the mana regen as Katarina. Because, you know, she... Well, she doesn't have mana, so that kind of... Throws a wrench into the plans if you're trying to regain mana. So, I have no idea what rank these guys are, so we'll just have to see how it all pans out as uh, as we go on here. So it looks like he has only missed one mini onion so far, and I have missed, what, two, three, two, one? A couple? I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and just, ooh, nailing that void lane, getting that money. Let's go ahead and just walk into the middle of these. Get that minion. Now we have our shun post, so we have all of our abilities, and we can use them to avoid the danger. And we'll go ahead and just do that. Boop. Make sure we keep pushing. The visions will actually... Actually, we do have a lead on them right now. And I also took teleport because I didn't really feel super confident in my ability to just kill him in lane. So, plus, you know, it's the teleport meta right now, and... It's way better to have the ability to match the global presence of your lane mate. So if you think someone's going to take teleport, or if you know they're going to be able to uh, either roam a lot due to the champion they're playing, or if you, know, you just somehow have a hunch that that's what they're going to be doing, then feel free to uh, make sure you can match their roams. So let's see, Lee Sin is on the other side of that wall there. We'll go ahead and level up our W first. Even though I think it's actually better to level Q up first in a ranged lane like this, but I'm not totally sure. So we'll just have to see how this goes. It looks like Dan is coming in. He will be knocking, knocking, knocking. Nope. Okay. <laughs> he, he will not be doing anything right there. Apparently you cannot unburrow when you're silenced. Fun fact. So <laughs> just going to stare angrily from the ground as that Rek'Sai. So, good gank indeed. And we'll just keep up the farm game for now because there is nothing else that we need to be doing. And we do need to keep in mind that it is actually pretty easy for Malzahar to gain mana back um, if he keeps trying to push waves really hard because that's part of what his visions do. If a minion dies while his visions are on it, he actually gets a decent hunk of mana back. So let's go ahead and just get a big wow. That was a lot more damage than I thought it was going to be. But a decent amount of poke off onto this guy. Looks like I have a Lee Sin coming in here. We'll go ahead and just avoid that. And whoop. Or not. Okay. They did quite a lot of damage there. 
quite a lot more damage than I thought they were going to. My whole plan was to just wait until I could shampoo out, but um, apparently I, I done fucked up. So, alrighty. I, I suppose that I, that's quite alright. Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just teleport on back in here. I was going to flash and jump out of the minion after I dodged the Lee Sin Q, but uh, that's apparently not how it's going to go down. So sadly, we did have to use our teleport to get back to lane here so I can hopefully try and push this out as fast as I can and see if I can maybe get uh, What's-His-Face here to miss some more minions. But if we can get him to just use his teleport to come back mid, that's also pretty good for us. But let's see, we are six, we can try and make the roams now. And since he is teleporting back as well, that means he will not be able to teleport out, which is pretty good. Pretty darn good. We'll go ahead and drop over pink in there as well, because Lee Sin seems to fancy that side of the map. And now I need to be very, very mindful of my surroundings, because if I see that this guy is trying to go ham on me, I need to really be ready to move, like either to flash away from his range of his ultimate or just really get out of there quickly. Because um, now that he's six, even though he doesn't have ignite or a lot of AP at all, he still has a lot of kill pressure on me. Um, just, you know, do the how the champion works because he can keep me locked down for so long. It looks like we are going to be going for this. There's the flash just like that. Easy, easy flash right there to get out. And Lee Sin is on the other side of this wall. He is only level 4. Alright. Well, actually, I guess Dan is only level 4 too, so... Not really a surprise there. Let's go ahead and drop the W. And... Eh. Oop, there we go. Get that, and I'm going to let these potions stick me up. We are CSing very well, actually, for Ekaterina. Um, not really just for Ekaterina, but just in general. It's 61 at 7 and a half minutes. So, very good job on that front. Let's go ahead and make sure we get that. Um, but especially for a Katarina against a Malzahar, that is definitely very good. But with this Catalyst and just the way Malzahar works, he has a lot of uh, mana regen. So, I'm going to go ahead and just jump in here, auto that one. So, lots of damage going off on me, sadly. Not really much I can do about responding to it. Lee Sin trying to fight our Rek'Sai. He will be flashing there. Let's see, Dan, will he get him? And it looks like this could be bad for us? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, I don't want to do this anymore. One issue with their team is they have a lot of ways of getting me out of my ultimate. Dan, or not Dan, but uh, Malzahar can actually ult, and that'll get me out of my ultimate. He can Q, and that'll get me out of my ultimate. Vayne can E, that'll get me out. I don't think Gameplank can do anything to get me out of my ultimate, but Thresh obviously can get me out of my ultimate in a lot of ways. So I am going to definitely, definitely be struggling somewhat this game. Now, I should actually be very wary of uh, a potential kill here. He won't be able to just visions me to death, I know that, but he would possibly be able to get a visions and a good, you know, call of the void to possibly be able to kill me. So, this game is definitely going to be a good one for, uh, for our Katarina capabilities because there's just so much that we're going to have to pay attention to to play this game properly. So I'm actually looking forward to this. So maybe, let's see, it looks like the death sentence is not going to come out, just a flay and a trade. Good auto attack. Katarina needs to actually leave the base, though, if I want to make any progress anywhere. It looks like Dan will be going in down there. And I'm saying Dan because it's a lot easier to say Dan than Fox Drop all the time. So, there's a ward right there that my teleport will not be up in time to teleport to, sadly. And I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to continue to try and look for any potential plays anywhere else on the map that I can. Because if I can just get any other lane ahead, or if I can make anything happen that'll be really useful and it's also really good for us that my pink has still gone um unkilled so that's 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 very good it's very good so let's go ahead and just qw that looks like malzahar was trying to make a roam happen 
So, ward bot deep. I'm going to go ahead and save that, see if I can get them to drop a deep ward, so I can hopefully teleport behind them. Looks like the 1v1 Garen versus Gangplank kill. Great job, Lustfulness. Just picking it up. Don't know how she did it, but fantastically done, nevertheless. And we'll go ahead and just keep up the CS in. Still don't know where Mal's are. There he is. I don't know what he was doing, but uh, he is back, so we'll go ahead and just take that for what it is. And it looks like it, it's, it kind of looked like he wanted to go try and get a blue buff, but then he just wasn't given the blue buff. So I'm actually going to teleport in down here right now. This could be good. Let's go ahead and jump on this bitch. That's going to be one kill right there. And kaboom! There it is. One more auto. Come on. Bitch, there it is. And we even got the flash. So the double kill coming out off of a fantastic teleport. And that will be exactly what I needed in this lane. So beautiful. Beautiful teleport plays coming out. I'm going to go ahead and ping them on my way right now if Dan wants to try and do anything to this guy. So we'll go ahead and just jump on him. Lee Sin is here, but I don't think they can fight us in the slightest. So my ultimate will be back up very soon. Let's go ahead and just throw him, throw a dagger at him. Drop the W. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, there we go. Flashing out of that. And, well, pretty fortunate that that turned out the way it did. But let's go ahead and go back here. I guess that was a little overzealous on my part, you could say. But, oh no, my ping! My ping! Okay. But we can go back here. We can definitely get, um, let's see. We'll get our full Luden's Echo? Full Luden's Echo! he says, as he grabs the Magi's Soul Stealer. So we'll see if this pays off or not, because after that one double kill, I'm feeling a little cocky and confident. So let's see, it looks like Dan is possibly going to get this kill. There's his flash, and he will be finding a Gangplank with Gangplank using his flash. Will Dan get out? No, he will not. 100% not going to get out of that one. So rest in Rex size, Dan. We'll see what goes down after that. So I know that Malzahar doesn't have his flash. That is pretty important for us. Um, Gangplank is probably just going to clear the wave, and that's going to be that. So he is going straight for a Trinity Force. No surprises there whatsoever. Go ahead and drop another ward back in this bush. And we'll see if we can push. So Gangplank teleport going down up top lane. That does open us up to a potential time to try and get Dragon. So definitely keep that in mind. I'm going to pain that I am on my way here. And let's see if I can get onto this guy. It looks like Dan will be knocking him up. That's going to be the ultimate easy kill coming out right there. It looks like they were trying to respawn, but definitely not going to be responding in time. So an easy annihilation going off on him. Garen is going to get Malzahar ulted. Let's see. Is she just going to be able to walk out, though? It's looking like that may be the case, so, fortunately, oh shit, never mind, I am a big old liar, and I am so sorry. Okay, throwing a dagger at his face, he will be going down bot lane, looking like they will have a fight, Jinx going to get one kill, Jinx going to get two kills after getting excited here, and let's go ahead and this could be good, and definitely drop that EQ, there it is, going to be getting two more stacks on this Magi's. So Katarina definitely paying off, and this Magi's was a great choice indeed. So Dan, I should be able to get this tower, and we are still doing a fantastic job on the CS 125. Go ahead. Do it, pussy. Do it, pussy. All right, he's not doing it. Boop. And we'll just get that and walk away. So I don't know where Gameplank is, and I don't know where Malzahar is. Well, obviously Malzahar is dead, so that guy, we kind of do know where he is. Um... So, boop, go ahead and just chop him up there with the Sinister Steel and see if we can go back and get stuff. So we actually can. I'm going to go back and um, then I'm going to grab a, yeah, I'm going to grab my Sorcerer's Shoes and my Luden's Echo. So that'll be a pretty big back for us. Um, Luden's Echo and Sorcerer's Shoes. Lots and lots of damage here. Let's go ahead and grab Pink Ward, Sweeping Lens, and some potions. Looks like Dan has found a Lee Sin. And Lee Sin will uh, not be escaping his fate of death. So 233 AP so far. We do have 
some good penetration. We do have nine stacks on this Medjai so far. Definitely not bad at all. And I think I'm going to go for an Abyssal Scepter after this. Now, the reason for the Abyssal is not because they are like a really heavy AP team or anything like that, but it is because it will help me stand up to the Malzahar Burst. Um, well, Burst. I use that term lightly in this scenario because he's not uh, he's obviously not really a bursting champion but he can do a lot of damage very quickly and if i can negate at least some of that that'll definitely be very good for us so i'm gonna go ahead and throw the q right there and i didn't get out of range of the visions so a bit of a shame and i think i'm just gonna drop my pink actually in this bush this time so it looks like it looks like this could be bad for them because I think they, I really think they want to try and dive this. So that's, yeah, they're definitely going for it. I am coming. Let's see what I can do. Maybe I can get in here. This is looking like it's going to be good. It's going to be good. There's two kills right now with the double kill. That's going to be a triple kill. You want more? You want to do more, brother? Okay, I don't really want to do more. I take it back. I'm pretty low. Wait. Oh, oh, maybe. It. There's the quadra kill. And, oh, not going to get a Penta. But, you know, it's okay. It okay. Dude, this Magi is already 18 stacks. 18 stacks on Magi so far. <laughs> already 18 stacks on this Magi. So that is definitely paying off 100%. 16 minutes into this game, 145 CS up. Malzahar has done the teleporting mobility thing. And, <laughs> I mean, that is true. I haven't played Katarina in a very long time. But, let's go ahead and jump onto these guys. And my damage is just insane right now. My damage is going to definitely be a little through the roof one might say so i'm gonna go ahead and pin them on my way down here because even if they see me coming at this point i'm gonna be doing so much damage that's really not gonna matter uh like in the slightest so let's go ahead and just jump in here i know they do have this uh there it is so basically i just need to kind of get the drop on them and i can kill them but we should definitely go for the dragon here because there's nothing nothing's gonna stop us from doing this dragon um, basically. The only thing that could potentially stop us is a Lee Sin steal, which is definitely a possibility just due to how Lee Sin works with his Q execute mechanic. But, as long as we do it fast like we are, it should be pretty easy. And, like I said, pretty easy free dragon. So far we are doing a very good job. And let's go ahead and push this wave out real fast. Boop, boop. Go ahead and kill that. And I'm going to teleport up onto this top lane, too, just to make sure that, um, let's see it. Come here. Come on. Come on. Let's go ahead and jump on this guy. That's going to be, wait for it. And, no, damn it. <laughs> Picking up the kill. Malzahar, no flash. I use my flash as well. But we will be losing 10 stacks off of that death. So definitely dying there may not have been worth it. But I was just feeling, I just, I just wanted the kill, man. I just wanted the kill. So we will get the kill, sadly. Not going to have a ward to jump out of. Because I did swap to the sweeper. It looks like Lee Sin is going to try and get out of this. Smashing the ground angrily. But he will get bruh, bitten. And he will go down like a bitch. So Fex Dorp on the rampage. Great job, Dan. And my teleport is down for another three minutes. So basically nothing for me to do other than try and... Roam around the map, get more kills wherever I can do so, and see what we're made of. So, what's up, red hair? What's up, gorgeous lady? Big, steel, non-jiggling tits, and... I prefer them jiggly, dude. Not like, not like, uh, over everywhere, but... You know, they gotta show some signs of life, you know what I mean? All right. Whoa, Rek'Sai, the farm alarm going off, and we'll go ahead and just do that, and boop. Throw a dagger in his mouth, and see, this is why I kind of need a, uh, or needed an Abyssal Scepter. I chose to go for Rabadons, because I was, again, feeling rather cocky, um, and Rabadons is just more flat damage, but I think definitely an Abyssal Scepter will end up being a very good choice. So, hello. I'm going to go ahead and just ward, or do my little sweeping maneuver here, and hey, hey, boop. 
So let's go. Wait. He's lost his damn mind. So that's going to be an easy kill. Game Plank Ultimate coming out along with an exhaust. And so much went off on me right there for nothing. I really didn't expect to fight there. So I'm hoping... Man. All right. So there's a ward in there for us. Let's see here. Maybe I can... Come here. Come here. That's going to be one kill coming out. Look at that. Get out of my face, brother man, Bill. It looks like Dan will be finding... Well, he won't really be finding much of anything, but, you know, still one kill. 13 stacks on the Medjai's once again. Go ahead and jump on this and grab that. Boop. Oh, not going to get that auto attack. Looks like Dan is trying to take a red buff. Vayne is going to... Oh, there's the Vayne ultimate. Vayne mechanics! And she will just be walking now and... Boop. Boom! There's another kill! Absolutely pooping all over her tight little chest. And that will be a red buff steal for us. Obviously, I'm not going to be taking this myself, but definitely going to help out with it a little bit. And Malzahar just <laughs> doing Malzahar things and pushing real, real hard. So I'm going to let Garen take care of that while I take care of this very, um, very important ward to kill. So let's see. Malzahar has been found. And let's see, will she be going after it? She is running after it. Garen is hauling, but Garen ain't gonna find nothing. So let's see, maybe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. Boop. There's another kill. Killing spree coming out. 17 stacks again. And we are already getting way back up there. Doing a great job. And let's go ahead and go back, grab our Rabadons, and then grab some more stuff. So, our teleport's back up in 20 seconds. Will be a good time for us. Looks like Garen does have that dead man's plate already. 619 AP. So, we are definitely up there. And I think I'll just grab this part of it for now. Because um, there's not a huge reason for me not to. Grand Malzahar does have the capability to kill me. So, I do need to watch out for that a little bit. But, um, it's not, you know, the most important thing. Wait, this is a bad teleport. So, my bad, my bad on that teleport. I, uh... He's gonna tilt so hard off of that CS. I actually didn't see them coming in, so my bad right there. Let's go ahead and just jump on this guy, and whoop, boom, there's the kill. <laughs> and there goes a stray Super Mega Death Rocket coming in. And not gonna do much of anything there. 19 stacks again. Go ahead and just sweep that. We'll go ahead and grab this farm. Looks like Dan could be in trouble, but, you know, we'll assume he's okay. We'll, yeah, we'll assume he's okay. And it looks like our teleport still paid off a little bit. Now let's see. Whoa! The Nami wave surfs up. Will be a lot of damage right there. There's one. And let's go ahead and see the Condemn coming out. And there's the bubble. Whoa! And there's the double kill right there. Putting me back at 26. So beautifully done. And a blue buff going down to yours truly. So can I jump to that? No, I cannot. And let's go ahead and just see if we can clear this wave again real fast. Well, what's you know left of it. And then Dragon will be up in 30 seconds, so we should definitely grab that real fast again. So let's go ahead and get these one auto attack each and then W them. Let's see. Very close to that. <laughs> so he found the uh, the Garen, not the one he wanted to find there. I think he was looking for me, but will not find me. So actually, with our 20 stacked Magi's, we do have, or we are benefiting from the bonus of, ooh, that's going to be a deadly sin, and I'll just not even worry about getting that kill. We'll just let the uh, Jinx go ahead and pick that up. And I can get my Abyssal Scepter here in 100 gold. So next wave that I kill will give me the amount of money that I need. And then I'll be able to just shred through people even faster. So, looks like Gameplink Ultimate coming at you. Or coming at me, <laughs> I guess. Not really at you, but it's at me. And we'll go ahead and take that jump over here. And I'm going to go ahead and recall and grab the... Uh, Whatever it is, the Abyssal Scepter. Looks like they are going for this game plank. The Flash coming out, the knockups coming in. Not gonna matter. Garen is just way too tanky right now to even be bothered by that little tower. So next up, I think we'll go for a Void Staff for our next item, just so I can make sure I'm shredding any MR they could possibly have, because Lee Sin is starting to build a little bit of it. Um, another good choice would be a Zonia's, but I'm not gonna bother going for that right now. There is not a huge reason for it. And I am choosing to just walk bottom right now because there will be a uh, 
dragon fight relatively soon here, I'm sure. And oh, let's see if we can do something here. This is our time to shine. So it looks like everyone, let's see it, let's see it. All right, there's that, and whoocha! There's the Superman going in! That's gonna be ba-boom! There's one more, and double kill coming in! Come on there, brother! All right, he's not doing it. So let's go ahead and just jump onto this dragon, see if we can get this real fast, and just the annihilation of the Katarina in the middle of a team fight is going to be far too much for their bodies to handle. And that will be the dragon going down for us with another double kill into our pocket. And let's go ahead and clear this wave. 230 CS. Even with all of our roaming, we're doing a very good job keeping up on the CS. So proud of myself on that front. Let's go ahead and whoops. Ow. Wait, he has a Rylize already? Hey, what the heck? I'm not going to die, but what the heck? All right. Go ahead and just shumpo out of here. Get myself to safety. So let's see. No MR, no MR, Banshees, no MR, no Magic Mantle. Maybe I should just go for a Rylize then, just to have more health and more damage. Or a Zonia's. Or a Zonia's. Because if they're not actually building MR, then there's not really a huge issue in me not having a Void Staff. So I think we'll go for a Rylize or, or a Zonia's, which is why I'm getting the... Um, you know, the needlessly large rod again, because that leaves us, or leaves our options open. Plus, you know, if I get a different item and then happen to die or something, uh, obviously I'll lose my stacks on my Magi's, and then once I lose my stacks on my Magi's, if I lose stacks, like, multiple times, it very quickly becomes not worth using at all. So, we can just sell that for whatever we need. So we'll go ahead and just walk up here, drop the W. Looks like he thought I was going to try and pick a fight there. Which wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea on my part with how strong I am. How much damage does my ultimate do? <laughs> 750 plus 23 plus 2135 magic damage over 2.5 seconds. Uh-oh, it's looking like I need to get in here. And this can be good. And, ooh, whoop. Go ahead and dodge out of the hook. Maybe we can get something done here. Lee Sin coming in. And there is a teleport in here. But I don't know where he went. So as long as I just stick out of a bad situation, basically away from... There's a hair in my mouth. It looks like, oh, the hook not going to land. Lee Sin is coming at you. And whoop, look at that damage. Let's go ahead and shumpo out. Just make sure I don't get hit by anything that I would not want to be hit by. So let's see here. Maybe we can do this. If they go in on, like if they pull the trigger, I will absolutely annihilate them in a counter initiation. So, unless they're saving everything to stop me, which wouldn't be a bad idea, um, they're going to have a bad time. So we'll go ahead and just keep up the CS. It is really uncomfortable. I have a hair right in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I've been sucking too many dicks recently again. Got a pube in my mouth. I have no idea what it is. So... Man, I really want to go in, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll be a good idea. So let's see. Whoop! And she did. Wait. Uh oh. Boom. No, she's not. I take it back. Take it all back. I take everything back. So their exhaust is down. That's a start. It's like Rexai is coming in. Do it, Lee Sin. Do it. Do it. He's not doing it. Fucking poos. Wait. Surfs up, boys. Gonna be coming in on that. I guess Dan tried to go in alone. Will not be paying off for him, though. So, ow! Good lord, that silence is long. Whoop. So let's go ahead and just leap on out of there. Try to avoid dying. My ultimate will be back up here in just a second. So we can go ahead and just jump on that. No, 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 no. Give me an alt range. Okay. So let's see it. There's the ultimate. And, all right. So, whoa! What is this guy doing? Dying is what he's doing. So maybe, maybe... Eh? Uh, come on! Yeah, boom! There's the double kill! There's gonna be the triple kill! And, whoa, not a chance today! Bam, 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 bam. Quadra kill! Picking that up will be an easy quadra kill. Where's my game plank? God damn it, what's game plank doing in the base? Alright, hang on. I'm going for the penta. Going for it. Going for it. Don't lose sight of him, Dan. Don't lose sight of him. And, come on! Come on! Alright! 
Here comes the Penta! Boom! There's the Penta kill! Gonna be picking up another Pinata kill with that teleport! And that will be the 21, 2, and 5 Katarina picking up the most, you know, uh, least exciting Penta kill you've ever seen in your life. But a Penta kill nonetheless off the teleport will be grabbing that easy, easy times. Go ahead and grab the Elixir of Sorcery. 976 AP at the, uh, at the 30 minute mark. Holy shit, that Rek'Sai damage. And it looks like, oh, not going to be getting the kill. Though there's the rocket going to miss horribly. It's like he can't even aim at all. And we'll go ahead and just group up here. We do have a Rylize now, so we do have some more HP under our belt. Baron is definitely a good choice, but we do need to make sure we get this wave shoving. And we really need to just group up and win at this point. Because um, we're so monumentally far ahead that if we don't do something with this lead, the, the longer this game goes on, the better chance they have of coming back. Not only because they have champions that are very good at scaling, but due to the fact that since I'm so far ahead, basically the way League of Legends goes is I can really only get, you know, in a sense, weaker as the game goes on. Because I am capped out. Like, I cannot get stronger at this point in the game. So that's something I do need to keep in mind. Now let's go ahead and just jump right there. It looks like she wants to do it. So let's... Uh-oh. So maybe... Uh-oh. Maybe a bad choice. She's too talented for me. So that was totally my own fault. And this is what I was saying. Exactly what I was saying. If I die like this and lose my Magi stacks, that is where it will be 100% worth it for me to sell this Magi and get a Void Staff. Because um, losing... Like, dying like that just made me lose 80 AP. And actually even more because of Rabadons. So, a little bit of a shame. And since I died with the Baron buff, I will lose that buff as well. I did not give credit to uh, my lack of magic penetration against the Vayne with the Banshees. I thought I would still be able to kill her, but I was horribly mistaken. So, what you're going to do, be a feeder is what you're going to do, is the answer to that question. But we need to just group up, and we need to actually kind of push down mid. We need to either wait for our inhibitor to be up, or we need to just brute force their inhibitor down. Um, because if they just keep split pushing like this, there's going to be less and less we can do about it for a little while, uh, until our inhibitors back up. So even though we have a very huge lead right now, this game is still not like 100% won, and that is something that needs to be kept in mind. So, actually along with losing those, or losing those Magi stacks, I actually lose a lot of CDR, which is a bit of a shame, but it looks like Dragon will go down there. And I'm just going to get this shoving for now, um, should be able to get that Void Staff here in about 300 more gold, I believe, because after I sell my Magi's, that's a 900 gold sell, and then Void Staff is 2,500, I think, now? Yeah, it's 2,500 now, so we'll be able to get that. Now it's looking like we'll go ahead and sweep that. Dan has Farm Alarmed up towards my side of the map. It's looking like he wants to holla holla at your boy, so we'll see if... We'll see what he has to say. And I guess... There's... There's the response. Okay. So there's someone I'm looking for. I'm actually going to wait for Dan. It looks like he is going to come in. And we do need to watch out for Gameplank coming in. Because if we get pinched off right here, like it's looking like they're trying to do, we'll find ourselves in a very sticky situation. But... If they come in at a bad time or a bad angle, we can actually take advantage of that and murder them off of it. Wait, Garen! Could be okay. Garen is okay. Garen is okay. All right, this is okay. Whoa, maybe. All right, ba boom! There's gonna be one kill going down. It's looking like Dan. Oh, the Nami wave will come in. That's gonna be wait. Go for it. Spooks with the rocket getting another kill. Let's go ahead and jump in here, and maybe we can do more. Boom! There's the double kill right there, and there's the triple kill. There's the ace. Just taking advantage of my team, getting them all low and using our team fight power to our advantage. And we will possibly be able to just win the game off of that. So we'll see if we... Yeah, we should be able to win the game off of that. And if we can't, getting an ace right now is just... Oh, that just even launches us further into the lead. So, you know, spinning that ass in a circle going to spin all over them. I actually don't know if I even got a good ultimate off in that fight. It was all trying to kill Gameplank um, in a sense. So let's go ahead and see. 
And maybe... Alright, go ahead and kill that. And Leeson, not going to pick up the kill, will be the victory coming in. After we just go Super Saiyan and, you know, calculate the circumference of my ass by spinning it in a circle all over that game playing space. So, as you guys can see, my first game of Katarina since even the whole <laughs> mastery system went live. Oh, on this account, my bad. So, 19.3k gold, 323 farming in a 35-minute game. And look at that damage. Definitely a good amount of damage. 22, 3, and 11. A fantastic game overall. And... If you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All things will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. You'll be a wonderful day.